I, I don't remember much about giving birth, but I remember I heard her cry. I didn't get to hold her or look at her. The nurse Stephen said, I didn't deserve to see her because I was giving her away. <laughs> they did let me feed her once, though. I had to refuse to sign the papers before they'd even let me do that. You know, she had blue eyes. I think most babies have blue eyes, but hers weren't at all pale. They were deep, deep blue, like the ocean. One hour, that's all we had together. And then they took her away. <sighs> you know what I really don't get, Emmy? When I talked to the other girls at the agency, they just kept saying how they couldn't wait to give birth, to get back to normal. <laughs> but I didn't want to have the baby, because I knew I'd end up alone. So I tried to keep her with me as long as I could. I remember waking up in the middle of the night with the most excruciating pain. But I didn't call mom until I thought I was going to die. You know, I just I didn't want to go to the hospital because I knew I'd be coming home alone, empty. And that's the worst part, I think. I feel so empty and cold. And now everyone just expects me to go on like nothing happened. <sighs> well, they lied to me, Em. Nobody told me it was going to be like this. I mean, I, I'm not even 20 years old and I, I feel like life is over. And I just keep waiting for it to stop hurting. But it doesn't. It just gets worse. 